What's going on guys, it's your boy I'll bring you a brand new video and I'm going to showcase some of my summer pickups. Let's get right into it. So our first piece is the money tee and there's nothing really simple about- What am I talking to fucking t-shirt? What am I saying? What am I saying? So the first tee is the money tee here. It's the one zillion, the altered states of America. This is actually my favorite tee. On the drop day, I actually copped the um, gray one and I had to trade it out for- um, I had to trade it for a black one. But this is probably one of my favorite Supreme t-shirts from um, this season. Probably going to be my most weird one too. Alright, the next tee is this babe tee. I got it in the white colorway since it's still kind of hot out. And it's a nice bright color with a nice gradient with the babe plastered on it. And it's actually one of my favorite tees. It's actually my first babe pickup. I don't really, I'm not really into babe, but I was in store in a mall actually. And they had a store that carried babe. And I was like, why the fuck not? Let me just get it because I feel like it. The next piece we got is the P13 shirt, I believe it's called. Obviously, I took L on the Trifurk, so I had to go with this one. I really like how it's not completely white. The, the paint is like an off-white, like a beige sort of, and it has the big golf ball. I, would say. I think it's a golf ball, in my opinion. That big golf ball in the back and the small on the front. Nice, clean tee for an everyday wear. That's why I picked it up. The next piece is actually an Adidas, an Adidas top, Adidas crew neck actually from actually Marshalls. I got this shit for only 25 bucks. I believe the retail was $50 or $60, and it's a good cop. If you guys don't know, Marshalls has heat. Don't sleep. The next piece we got here is the Supreme Centerpiece hoodie. This was honestly one of my favorite hoodies from Supreme. That's why I copped it. The embroidery is pure milky over here. It's crazy. Fuck them all over here. Supreme blasted on the chest. And it's, that's all you got to say. It's a nice burgundy colorway. And it's fire. The next pickup is two champion hoodies. I actually got these because they were fucking dirt cheap at Marshalls. Once again, is the tag still on? No, one of the tags have to be still on this. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yep, look at that shit. $16.99 for a fucking nice hoodie, dude. You cannot go wrong. I had that a bunch of different colorways, but I decided to go with the forest green colorway. And then I also got the cream or eggshell colorway. And once again, do not sleep on your local Marshalls. They have heat. The next piece is actually my first Stone Island pickup. Now, I don't really usually fuck with Stone Island just because they're insane prices. But I was actually in New York City. I think it was in Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom's. I'm not too sure. And they and all their Stone Island shit was on clearance because they only had a small section left. And I got this $200 crew neck with the Stone Island patch on for only $120. So for a nice quality crew neck, you can't go wrong. The next piece is a Palace hoodie. I believe it was called the Palace Handle hoodie. And it's just a nice plain black hoodie with one white stripe and one um, red stripe going across the palace blasted on the chest and of course it's that godlike palace of knit quality it's fucking crazy i love their quality on their hoodies and also my favorite thing the reason why i bought this piece was actually the hood just the ribbing on this is crazy how it goes around instead of like an average hoodie it's just awesome to me the next piece we got here is the supreme patchwork hoodie this is the most slept on colorway honestly is my favorite piece from the whole season the seamings on all the patches are so clean i'm actually really impressed really impressed with this hoodie it retailed for i think 188 which isn't that bad for the quality of it and i'm honestly really impressed this is honestly my favorite supreme hoodie and i'm gonna get a shit ton of wear out of this this season now i got two bbc pickups honestly i'm not a fan of bbc and i never really cared about them but i think it was towards the end of the palace season and supreme season and I was in New York and I was just there to spend some money and just buy some shit. And I went to Supreme. Supreme was completely dried out. It was just a waste of money if you were to buy anything. Just garbage. Left, like leftovers of the season. Then I went, to, I went to Palace. And I think it was two days before they closed for the season. For the end of the season. And it was just completely garbage. Literally just the Palace basics. Basically a waste of money. So then if you don't, if you don't know about uh, New York. Um, the Palace shop's right next to the BBC shop. And I was like why not let me go in. And I found, I found two pretty clean pieces. I was like why not pick it up. It's a nice basic shirt. So you just got BBC. It's actually mirrored. So I think on the camera, on the camera it'll probably look normal, but it's actually backwards. It's a mirrored um, logo. It's Billionaire's Boy Club with the astronaut, the classic ash astronaut, and then obviously the astronaut on the back. It's a nice clean t-shirt. Not nothing to complain about. And I also got this. This is actually kind of I'm kind of happy about. I saw one of the workers wearing it. I was like, damn, that shit dope. It's a long sleeve, and it just says some random font that literally makes no sense, but whatever, I fuck with it. It says flying objects with an all blacked out BBC logo, and then it has, I think it says undefined, right? Yeah, it says undefined all along, plastered along, all along the upper shoulders, and that's pretty much it. So now, I got it oversized, so it's gonna be a nice fit. It said unidentified. It did. Unidentified, you said undefined. Whatever, bro, I don't fucking give a fuck. <laughs> 
Yeah, maybe. <laughs> On to the next piece. We got the Palace Half Zip, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. We got the Palace London Half Zip. It has a nice P on the actual zipper. I honestly wish it was the Palace usually puts like an actual metal P on their um, zippers, like the whole zipper's a P. I kind of wish this piece had that, but no, it just has a little P imprinted on the metal. And a nice zipper over here with the small little Palace logo right on the chest over there. And then it has Palace London plastered on the hood. With this Palace piece, you're getting what you're paying for. Great quality as always. That's why I love Palace. On to the next piece. Now, honestly, this is my first first OVO pickup. I got this because I saw it on my Instagram feed. And I'm, a fan, I'm personally a fan of Drake, so I said, why the fuck not? And I just got a plain OVO hoodie. I didn't want to get the ho the hoodies with the big owl, so when I saw this minimalistic um, logo, I was like, I should cop it. It's a nice, small, really, really small logo, and all embroidered on the chest, and that's it. It's a plain black hoodie with OVO logo embroidered on it, and it's nice and clean for the winter time, so I said, why not? On to the next one. And we got a box here. This is actually from the end summer sale. Now, if you don't know what that is, you are really sleeping. The end summer, summer sale is basically when they just give stupid amount of discounts off great items. I got this... I got this Nike Lab zip up hoodie. Now for the, those of you who don't know what a Nike Lab is, the high end version of Nike. It's all high quality fabrics and um, materials and it's basically like triple the price as regular Nike stuff. Like I bet you can find a regular Nike zip up, zip up for like probably $50, even less sometimes. And this shit I think retailed for $200. So basically the only reason why I even cop this was because of the sale, the end sale. I got it for only 85 bucks. The qualities on this is amazing. There's nothing really to go over. Just a plain black zip up hoodie with the vertical Nike logo. And you know what that fucking means with the amazing zipper quality. And that's pretty much it for this piece. On to the next one. Now, these are two pickups from All Saints. I went into All Saints in the mall and I went to their clearance section and I found their blank t shirts. I'm personally a fan of All Saints. Not really. I only like their blanks because they're really soft. They are thin, but it's nice for the summertime. And um, they're really, really soft quality. And the material is alright. So I picked up this, this one. And then I also picked up another another one. This is a thicker one. This simple All Saints t-shirts. I like them. They're nice blanks. On to the next one. I actually went in store for this piece. It's another Palace piece. A try for of course. I waited in line for... I woke up at like 5 a.m. Went to New York. Waited in line for I think two hours. Because I knew I was going to take the L online. Because of the, the stupid Q system. is literally fucking retarded. Anyways. You got the Maximum Palace on the front. Then you got the awesome fucking... Triferg, obviously, the classic fucking Palace t-shirt. The nice Triferg, I have a bunch of these. Anyways, always nice to add another one to the collection. On to the next one. We got this nice Palace shell top. I think believe it was called the high grade shell top. I'm not too sure. I actually got this in store as well. And it's honestly just pure fucking fire. It's nice half zip with the Palace embroidered over here. You got the nice... You got the nice zipper over here with, of course, the Palace P zipper, which is dope. And then across the back, it has Palace going down it vertically. Now, shit, bro. Bouncy ball down. Anyways, it's a very, very thin, very thin um, windbreaker pullover, you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. But it is good materials, and I, I really enjoy this piece. That's why I picked it up. This is another shell top, and this one was too sick to pass up on. I actually had the girlfriend get this in-store um, a week before I went there and it's just a white shell top but with the most like retro looking fucking gradient fade literally the gradient goes all the way down to the sleeve it's crazy this nice like orange purple pink um fade it goes all the way down it's literally crazy anyways it has a small palace print on the front with a zipper sadly sadly without the palace P zipper I don't know why they don't put that on all their pieces and then on the back it says palace a little bit bigger and also has a gradient going all along the back and literally all to the sleeves tips. I love this piece so much. This is honestly the, my my favorite piece, probably my pickup besides the patchwork hoodie from Supreme. That was also dope. But this is one of my favorite pickups and really worth my money in my opinion. On to the next one. Ooh, baby. Oh, was, never mind. This isn't the final piece. I also got shoes. But this pickup was pretty insane. I actually went in Supreme in their new line system, which wasn't that bad. I caught this shit in store, which, what was this called again? It was the Contrast Stitch Pullover. It's a sort of a puffy jacket, but not really. Like a puffy jacket, like hybrid almost. It's a pullover with a Supreme Bogo on, on box over with a nice kangaroo pocket. The two pockets on the sides, a nice, a nice zipper over here for the half zip. And that's much it. This piece actually really impressed me. It's very, very soft. 
very very soft it's kind of thick actually it's very puffy like a puffy jacket as i said and it's actually pretty good quality and for only 168 compared to some other supreme pieces this was a great price because literally a hoodie goes for 158 or something like that for only 168 to get this piece it was dope anyways on to the next one and this is my first time venturing into y3 actually i'm not really a big fan of y3 because it's kind of overpriced well a little bit it is overpriced but the qualities are a little better than your average average stuff so anyways i got these y3 joggers has the y3 logo right here it's nice 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 cozy fit honestly and i actually got a whole outfit so i got the y3 joggers right here with the y3 logo and then i got the y3 crew neck i got the y3 crew neck all black with the y3 with the black on black print the y3 print all along the back chest <laughs> and then i also got these shoes man fuck these fucking pure boots bro i'm a big fan of these these are gonna be my favorite fucking daily wears um and i'm a huge fan of these these are literally fucking godlike i'm so happy with these and they're honestly so comfortable this boost on this is pure fucking fat like if i would describe this it's thick like picture a fucking thick girl this is what this shit is bro this is soft like this is the softest shoe i ever fucking felt and ever wore i don't know why i'm cursing so much but whatever the the qualities on this is really premium the only one complaint i have about the shoe is the lacing system it looks cool but it's kind of weird and uncomfortable in a way but besides that it's an awesome shoe the knit's very very soft and very breathable and um i really like it on to the next pickup i got a gucci pickup you know i was like fuck it why the fuck not you know i did it for the meme honestly I did it for the meme. I got fucking Gucci slides just because. Why the fuck not? I mean, for slides that are pricey, I think it's 182 or the retail is like 182, I believe. For slides, it is pricey, but for a regular shoe, that's what a regular shoe goes on for nowadays. So this is not that bad of a price price point. And it is designer, I guess, even though it is a slide. How much does it cost them to make? Probably 20 bucks, but still, just for the fucking famous song. Come on. How can you not? It's just a fucking meme. And that's about it. And I actually got one more shoe. I got um, nothing crazy over here. I got Jordan 1s. I got this colorway. Now, the reason why I got these, I usually don't fuck with general releases because I don't like shoes that most people have. But most people don't have these in all reality. And I wanted to look for something that, that replaced my skate high because my skate highs get really beat up very fast. And when I'm out in public, it's not really a good look. It kind of makes you look dirty. So I decided to go with these. The leather is easy to clean. It's not canvas. It won't get more. It won't get destroyed as easily. And plus, with all black and white, it's literally so easy to wear. You can throw on anything with these, and it'll look good. So I just got these, and I picked them up. The leather on this is actually pretty good. Obviously, not as good as, as the breads, but like the leather on this is very silky smooth and buttery. But it's a decent pickup, and I think it only cost me eighty dollars for a pair of shoes at retail like one sixty. So that was a media cop. And I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. I think that's it, yeah. I think I, I cleaned out my whole fucking closet. Now time to put this all back and all nice. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy, Ariel. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. That was cancerous. Thank you for watching. Da, 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 da.